Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Mix from Next Creation. Remember, if it's your first time, please consider supporting and subscribing to this channel. Don't forget to click that notification bell. It's always very important for you to get or to be updated wherever we upload a new video. What is the minimum wage in Qatar 2022? When we talk about the minimum wage, we can't fail to mention the Gazette that was on March 21st, 2020. Uh, 21 where the government of Qatar or where the government introduced what you mean the minimum wage to all workers or to all employees in Qatar, including what you call a domestic worker the minimum amount of money will be availed to you uh, that at, what that was gazetted to all workers to be receiving in Qatar and remember when we are talking about the minimum wage we are looking at how much you will be earned after accomplishing a given task and that task uh, it is measured what we call monthly here in Qatar salary and uh, salaries are being paid what you call being paid under what you call a monthly basis however to some situation you may have a different agreement in a, a labor co uh, in a contract or a labor contract then probably other scenarios or, or other options like that will come but something that you need to understand the minimum wage uh, of all workers in Qatar including the domestic worker is 1000 Qatar real which is equivalent to around 274.725 dollars uh, per month and remember these are accorded or these are calculated according to what you call eight hours basis so this with these wages uh, the minimum wage that was set by the government march 21st 2022 uh, 2021 uh, it is uh, calculated on what you call on eight hour working basis meaning that if you are going to work beyond the eight hours we call it what you call overtime and you'll be paid for that according to the company calculation at that time and something that i need to still also need to let you know under the minimum wage and that was gazetted on march 2021 uh, it is shows that you are also entitled to what you call a basic food allowance which is of 300 that is some of the entitlements uh, that is supposed to go with the minimum wage at uh, at the end of the eight hours if your company is not giving you food then you are entitled to uh, an additional an addition token which is amounting to 300 Qatar real every month for you to prepare your food and if the company or if that company is going to give you food then definitely that company has to provide you uh, three meals a day uh, breakfast lunch and also task to give you dinner as accordingly at that time however still something that you need to know there are companies that do not provide accommodation in case that company is not providing accommodation then it will give you another amount which is 500 Qatar real as part of the top up or for your accommodation but if that company is giving you accommodation as most of as most of uh, the companies here in Qatar try to do because they want to minimize the what you call the cost then definitely you'll have to get what you call 1000 1000 uh, 300 uh, without food that is for the total or as we call the minimum wage in Qatar at that time remember for the overtime depending on which kind of company you are working for and which kind of project that's how they definitely will calculate what you call overtime hope I've tried to share up with you Thank you so much. See you again in the next video as we are trying to, to, to try to discuss most of these important things that you need to understand or you need to know such that at the end of it all, you are not left out in one world. And I remember it's makes from the next creation. And if it's your first time to come across this channel, please consider supporting this channel by subscribing and supporting this channel by clicking the notification bell is where you will be updated whenever I get to download or upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.